I think a literal interpretation of Genesis would look very much like young earth creationism. It would be that uh, God created the universe um, 10 to 20,000 years ago at most, if not less than that, and that he did so in a sequence of miraculous acts, um, that this took place over six consecutive 24-hour days. Um, I don't think, however, the literalist would be committed to things like a literal firmament or canopy over the earth, as many people have claimed. Some, I think, mainly unsympathetic critics have said that on a literal interpretation, you're committed to a flat earth and to this canopy over the world, which is sort of like an inverted bowl resting on the earth at its horizons and with the stars and the moon and so forth uh, and the planets engraved in this dome. And I do not think the literalist is committed to that at all. Part of my study on the historical atom uh, took me into uh, reading um, ancient Mesopotamian mythology uh, where they describe such a canopy over the earth. And I think it's patently clear that these people did not understand this literally, that this was a sort of figure of speech or an image that they didn't construe literally. And we know that. I think it's demonstrable because the ancient Babylonians were expert astrologers in charting the motions of the fixed stars and the planets across the sky and predicting their return uh, every year. And that would be impossible if there were a dome resting on the earth uh, with the stars and planets engraved in it. You, you'd need to have something like the spheres of Greek cosmology, which were rotating around the earth. And that is completely foreign to uh, ancient Mesopotamian Near Eastern cosmology and to, to Israel. So uh, I think it's very clear that these uh, images of a dome or canopy were not understood literally. Um, and, and Israel, I think, understood that too, because remember the reason that the stars and the moon and the sun were placed in the heavens by God was for the purpose of marking seasons and days and years so that they too were aware of the motion of the stars and planets in the sky and the way you could reckon day and night and months and years by them. So that wouldn't be part of your commitment, nor flat earth. There's nothing to suggest that that's taught in Genesis 1. So I think it would look something like modern young earth creationism looks.